Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time! We are still in 1982, and we are still in Ultima 2. When we last left off, we stole a plane and made it to Pangea, and we are ready to move on again today. Uh, for those of you paying extra careful attention, you might notice that uh, a few of these numbers are uh, different. Uh, that is because there was uh, some technical issues that I was having with the game, and that caused me to need to redo basically the last two sessions uh, in order to get that fixed. Uh, but we are ready to move on. Uh, there are a couple things that are essentially different. I basically just gave myself keys and moved on from uh, where I was two saves ago. Uh, but I'll explain why in a bit. Uh, we are in town. Let's go ahead and leave town. Uh, and we can get back on board our plane here. And we can launch. Yeah, the, the numbers are going to be a little different here. Um, but ultimately, what I have done is uh, the same. Uh, just skipped a little bit of the optional stuff. All right, I want to land somewhere around here. I'm always careful about landing. If you land wrong, you die. So <laughs> let's land on some grass. And we'll, pa we'll pass here. Just basically by the sign is where I want to be. And then I will explain. There we go. There's the time gate. Let's go through it on our plane. And that takes us here. We'll go ahead and launch. And we will land here in Australia. Just so we can find out where we are. Once again, very careful. Land on the grass. And we will exit. Attack you. And then we'll go over here and enter. 1990 AD. That is not where I wanted to be. And this is what caused the problems before. Um... <laughs> Eh, this this is the the problem. I didn't get the one that I wanted. Um, I I didn't go through the right door here. So we need to kind of try to figure out what is going on. Let's open up the stat screen so I don't uh, take some time. What happens here is if I try to reload the save at this point, right? If I just kind of quit and come back in reloading the save, I lose my plane, <laughs> which is a significant problem. Um, but we are going to do what we can to get back. So I'm in 1990 AD. Um, that is an easy fix, actually. Um, let's go ahead and launch. Uh, we want to go back to Greenland, which is over here. There we go. This is actually one of the worst landings. There we go. And we will wait here. This is the problem. If I don't kind of go back and fix this this session, then I lose my plane. <laughs> and it's gone for good. Alright, uh, the other time gate that we can go to, I believe, is here. We're supposed to go basically off of um, where Antarctica would be. And I believe this is Antarctica, but they also told me it was in the very far south of the map. And this is the very far north of the map. And I think that is the issue that I'm coming across. All right, so we have made it here. Where is here? Enter, no, all right. Exit, enter, legends. That is not, that is not where I wanna be. All right, so we've made it to Legends, and I'm not sure how to fix that right now. I'm not sure which path here I need to take. There's four doors here in the time of Legends, and I don't want to be here right now. One of these days, I will have a good session in this game, but it is not today. It is very clearly not today. All right, so that took me back where uh, we were in Pangea, so that is nice. Um... There are four time doors, as best as I can tell. Um, and the other one would be somewhere around here. So let's go ahead and land here. And we'll try again. The map, unfortunately, is not helping me today. Not for, not for Pangea. Because I don't know where anything is supposed to be in Pangea. All right. There it is. All right. We'll go through this one. This looks like the spot. This looks like where I need to be. So as you can see, we basically have kind of a ruined map. It's 
after a lot of flooding. That means that it is in 2112 AD. It is in the future. We can confirm that by landing here carefully. Exiting and going over here. You enter the sign to read it. Uh, 2112 AD. That is, in fact, where I wanted to be. It took a little bit to get there. I was told something completely different. Now, oh, bored. There we go. So let's pull this up and make sure that I get the right spot from here. Unfortunately, that's kind of just how this game works sometimes. It's a lot of guess and check. Um, but... Like I said, I was told something completely different, and that's why I struggled there. But I had to show this because every time I tried and reloaded the save, I lost my plane. So we kind of had to work that out. Um, we can uh, view from here. We can see that the map is more or less the same, but there has been some flooding in 2112. Uh, we need to go to a place called uh, Pirate Harbor, and that is... Um, the, the only spot that is available to us here, but that is enough of the map. Let's go ahead and launch and try to find this settlement. I don't think it was in Africa. I don't see it in Europe, England, none of that. Um, I don't really see it in Asia. Ah, there it is. Way up in Northern Finland. That was a little close there. All right, let's head north here, and we'll go into Pirate's Harbor. There we go. All right, so we'll explore around Pirate's Harbor a little bit here. And this game has been cruel to me um, since I started this. Uh, but we're going to move on. I'm trying to stay positive about it. Uh, here we can find Red Magic. What do you sell? I am not a wizard, so I cannot do that. All right, we can head over to the right. Um, I have plenty of food, plenty of HP, and that's really all that matters. I have much more gold than I did um, last time because remember going through the, oh, avoid the little swamp area. Uh, when going through the dungeon actually cost me gold and didn't like get me anything good. So we're, we're not, uh, too uh, lost by not doing that. All right, we have Catholic. Talk to you, believe, pay your taxes. And we can head up. So there should be something over here. That was a Catholic church. Well, that's not good. It's kind of a ruined town here. Um, I need to go on the right side. So I'm not too concerned about roaming around town here. I have so much food, so much HP. It'll all be worthwhile in the end. No! The Red Lobster! <laughs> the Red Lobster has been ruined. It's, uh, for those of you that don't know, it is at least a, a prominent uh, restaurant chain in America. Uh, they are mostly known for their biscuits, which probably tells you all you need to know about their seafood since they're named after Red Lobster, but... Maybe that's just me. <laughs> yeah, they have really good biscuits, though. I sell them in the stores now. It's, it's just a ton of cheddar cheese in there. All right, what does this say? Oh, it says Da Wed Square. <laughs> oh, Da Red Square. Which would be in... Um, th that would be in, well, Moscow, so... Here we can see the CCCP, TOS CCCP. That one I don't fully understand, TOS, but CCCP is the um, Russian Soviet. No, that's the Chinese Communist Party. No, that's CCP. It's a Communist Party. I believe that is the Rus the Soviet one. I just don't know what it stands for. Um, I'm sure a lot of people do. I just didn't think I was going to come up today. The seer is out, unfortunately, so we can't deal with that. Uh, we can head up here. Pirates Cove. There's that. That's going to be important for us. Can we get access? No, that's what we saw before. All right. Let's head up and we can try to find kind of the rest of the stuff. We can see the airport here. 
all the planes that are available there. Um, I believe that you are important. This is Chuckles the Bumble cries. Can I look yet? Is it over? Uh, I should have actually talked to somebody near the Red Square. And we can talk to you here. The Village Idiot says, offer the hotel cleric gold. Um, I'm not sure how I could have gotten here without that. But the hotel clerk gold. I mean, that is important. Um, no, we could have gotten here before. Uh, but that is useful information, just not anymore because we have moved on. All right, toss CCCP. Um, I think it is here. No, where Red Square is. That's what we're looking for. And I believe it is you here. There we go. Warren Beatty asks, have you seen Diane Keaton? <laughs> Both actors misspelled Warren, but that's okay. Uh, there's been a lot of misspellings here in 2112 AD. So have you seen Diane Keaton is a reference to the movie Reds, uh, which is a movie set in Russia. That is kind of the important thing here. All right, so uh, another important thing is to keep track that I have just plenty of all the items. Uh, we are going to need a couple different ones here. So we can head up north and we can um, deal with things kind of a couple different ways. Um, where we need to go is ultimately over here through this guy here. Um, there's two ways to deal with it. You can see a spaceship there. That's what's important. Um, let me pause here. So there's two ways to deal with this. Um, we can we can try to kill the village idiot and then try to run for a rocket. Um, the problem with that is that there's going to be a ton of guards on the other side. And you'll end up having to deal with a lot of them if you want to get on board the ship, on board the spaceship. We don't want to deal with that. So there's another way to do it. Um, we're going to go to the harbor instead. As you can see, there's a lot of guards behind me too. There's lots of guards everywhere here. So we can unlock this. Talk to you. Read the pirate boasts. I have a broken Ultima 3. Want one? Um, that's because this is kind of a, a remake. Um, th yeah, they're hinting that there's going to be a third Ultima game, which probably isn't going to be a huge surprise to anybody, but that is something that is there for us. So Red the pirate now needs to die. Down he goes. And this is the other way of dealing with it. You can see all the guards kind of coming my way. We can board the ship and we can take out you guys. I like firing so much better. We'll go ahead and fight you guys. Why not? A little bit of HP loss. Nothing too bad. Wow, I got him to run. All right, so here we can find 666. I'm not sure that's necessarily important for anything, but it kind of looks like that 999 that we talked about before. Either way, though, um, we can get on board the ship, head up here, and then get on board the rocket ship. So we can board this and launch it. We have 19 fuel. We're orbiting Earth. Let's go ahead and... Oh, they're not going to let me pause here. Um, can I set 9? They're not going to let me do that. So we're orbiting Earth. Uh, we can now do H for hyperspace. 2. And we were told where to go. Zeno's going to be 9. Yako's going to be 9. Zabo's going to be 9. Prepare for hyperwarp. Let's go. Are we going to go? You're not giving me a, a, an option here. There we go. Took a little bit. Are you going to tell us anything? We're orbiting X. Planet X is where we are. So we'll go ahead and try to land. And... Ooh. All right. 
it's really difficult to do that. Uh, you have to hit a button uh, in order to make that happen, just to try to explain what happened there. Um, you have to hit a button, and um, any button will stop it, and you have to do it on grass, otherwise you die. And that is not fun. <laughs> um, we need to uh, try to get a ship again, um, if we can. That's kind of the, the main goal here. We'll go ahead and exit this. And try to explore around a little bit. Um, where am I actually? Actually, I think we're pretty close to where we need to be. Um, we can view, right, with our magical helm. This is what Planet X looks like. There's just kind of always a Planet X, right? So th that's what it looks like here. And we can head into the only town that is available to us here. This is Ozzy's place. I thought this was the only town. Is there another one? Hold on. Hold on for one second, because it's not what I thought that was going to say. Give me a second here. Once again, getting a little bit ahead of myself, um, that happens. Uh, there are There is only one town, but I didn't go into the town. I went into the castle. There's one town and one castle. Uh, so let's head out of the castle for now. Uh, we'll explore a little bit. We need to go this way and down. No, not to the right. Just straight down from here. And we can make it to the town that I was expecting to go to. There it is. That is what we were looking for. And we can enter this town. This is going to be Town Bosco. Um, no response. No response. That's kind of scary. Uh, but we are in Town Basco. And here we can see a, a couple different things. Uh, we'll start by going to the left. And we can see that there is something going on here. So we'll explore this. We'll, we'll just try to explore around a little bit. What does it say? Something mages. No mages. <laughs> I'm not a mage, I'm a cleric. It's different. Uh, Keith Zabalau... I, I don't know how to say that. Uh, Keith Zabalawi. Let's go with French. Uh, he says, I've never done this before. It's also not how you spell Keith, but... We have ugly Irving states. No mages allowed. Uh, they're kind of two of the flavor texts around here. Not too much going on with that. Get drunk at Aussies. Can I get drunk here? I sure can. Uh, let's tip five. Aviators use skull keys. Same stuff that we have seen the whole game. Doesn't matter where you go. All right. Um, we'll then go straight north from here. Once again, I still have plenty of food and HP and all that kind of stuff. So we can head up here. Pay your taxes. Pay your taxes. And I'm under attack. Straight up under attack. Oh, that's not good. We're going to have to go. We have to go. I'm not aggroing the guards. Like, I'm under attack. Yeah, there is a thief that comes for you here in town. Um, and he's not... Oh, oh, that's not good. All right, we're going to have to deal with this. But we have a way to get my HP back soon. <laughs> Come on now. Be nice to me. And we're gonna we're gonna make a break for it. There we go, we made it out of town. <laughs> Let's try again. This time we're not gonna go over to the left. Uh northwest, I, I don't I didn't even really get a chance to see what it was. Uh, but we're going to ignore that because there is a thief that aggroes literally the whole town against me as soon as I start attacking him. So that's not good for me. I don't know if you guys feel up to the challenge of taking on invulnerable guards that come after you, but I don't feel like taking that on. All right, so then we can go up to... Oh, there's a weapon shop up there. And the two people in the weapon shop are the people that give us the clues that we want. So you kind of have to deal with that if you want to get these clues, but um, neither one is super important. Uh, it's stuff that we kind of already know. Uh, the first one is a wimpy warrior. 
Uh, he tells you Antos is on X. So confirmation that Father Antos is here. And then we get an experienced warrior also there. He says, find Antos, earn the ring. So that is important. In the Northeast, there was just the armory shop. So that was not super important for me. Let's head down here to the transport. Can I buy it from you? I don't think I can buy it. So we're just going to go around. Once again, I have plenty of food. That'll be useful. All right. So we can unlock. He's already coming for me. All right, he finally went down. <laughs> Attacked one too many times, but that's okay. Guards are coming for me, but they can't make it in. That's all right. There we go. Hey, look, I found a ship. Board that. And get out. Exit here. <laughs> and that's basically how you can get a, a ship here on Planet X. Not that it's super important to get that. Uh, we can kind of explore around Planet X if you want, but there's not much going on. Um, we have basically found the two important spots. But if you want to explore, this is available to you. Yeah, there's there's really nothing that we can do here. Uh, pretty much our, ship, our, our spaceship was closer to... Um, where we wanted to go eventually anyway so it's available that's how you do it but not particularly useful all right so we have made it to ozzy's place this is castle barataria is the name of it um we can see what we can find around here um there, there's a couple people that are kind of important I'm going to see if they're going to let me in through... Yeah, no, there's a guard there. Let's not mess with guards unnecessarily. <laughs> that doesn't sound fun for me. So, let's head up here. Considering I'm already, you know, down basically 2,000 HP thanks to that work. Guards here as well, so they're really just not going to let me go where I want to go. Um... Somebody says, there's a guy named Justin the Jailer. He says, I wouldn't go in there. Um, there's also Sing Lee the Cook. Uh, that person says, kitchen closed, come back later. Uh, but there are some people that are important near the top. Um, and they're going to be much more important. Like, the other people I just kind of wanted to show off. But if they're out of range, it's not important. <laughs> Which happens a lot in this game as well. There, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. Um, don't know which one's the king, which one's the queen. Uh, we'll talk to both of you. All right. 50 gold got me 100 HP. So we're going to do a lot of that. All right. Then we can talk to you. And that's Queen Susan. She says, Father Antos awaits you. So, we can try to meet Father Antos. We need to unlock this. Remember, unlocking doesn't trigger the guards. It's only the attacking that does that. And then we need to head to the left. So, we did see King Ozymandias. Uh, definitely an old reference. And then we can go to Queen Susan's room. She's the one that told us. That's not how you spell queen, but I understand. And then here we can unlock and kind of make it to the jail. Stay off these tiles to the south here. They hurt. And then we can go this way. Um, we're, we have to cross the swampy room kind of entirely, which kind of sucks because I might get, yeah, paralyzed along the way. But I have magical boots for that. We'll continue here. Looks like I'm going to have to cross here yep um i have to actually go across this to the left don't go to the right because there's a person there that doesn't have too much to say at least not important and we can talk to you fighter there we go got out of my way 
Are you the person that, uh, yeah, there we go. Justin the Jailer warns I wouldn't go in there, but that is what we want to do. We can find the chapel. And we can head in this way. It's going to be important. So here we can find the kitchen. And we can find Singly that I was talking about before. Kitchen closed, come back later. <laughs> Don't know if that's supposed to be future speak. Let's assume it is, and then I'll feel better about myself. And those are the two people that I kind of wanted to talk to, but this is the person that we actually have to talk to. This is Father Antos. You have earned my blessing. Return and claim the ring. And we're essentially done. That's what we came to do. That is a turning point in the plot, believe it or not. We got Father Antos's blessing. That is very important. And I don't think they're going to let me out of here um, without going through the swamp area again. That is indeed what they're going to do to me. All right, so we'll go through this. We'll buy more HP. <laughs> and then we'll be ready to move on. At least that is the idea. Can I not get paralyzed that would be great now you can try to take on the people in the jail you can also try to take on the guards and just try to get out that way but like i said i don't want to get out uh, i don't want to have to deal with guards unnecessarily so we're going to go the long way around it's going to cost me some food but i have so much food that i can't imagine spending it all using it all uh, throughout the rest of the game uh, but there are a couple other places that we can go to uh, we were told, I should say, that the spaceship can take us anywhere in the galaxy. Uh, that is... Ooh, yeah, let's not do that. Uh, so we have 99, 28. But like I said, in the manual, we were told that the spaceship could take us anywhere in the galaxy. That is not true. Not even close. Um, it takes us throughout the solar system. That's a completely different thing. <laughs> of course, there are um, hundreds of millions of stars in the galaxy each one of which probably has some sort of uh, system of, uh, involved with it. It wouldn't necessarily be a solar system, but it could be like a stellar system. Um, either way, the spaceship here only takes us inside our solar system. But is there anything else awaiting us inside the solar system? Um, not really. <laughs> no. Uh, but, uh, let's go ahead and look at them. Why not? How many magical helms do I have? Uh, I can't even see them here. Clo I have 29. I have plenty. All right, so we will board this, and I think we will launch. Um, all right, let me get the, uh, the things in front of me. All right, launch. Hyperwarp engaged. Now, we could start by going to um, ship off course. You are in deep space. Um, all right. Well, then hyperspace. Uh, you can go to 444, but if you do that, you die. So I wouldn't recommend that. That's the sun. <laughs> uh, we are instead going to go to uh, 545. And this will take us to Mercury. Uh, 666 is how you get to Earth. Remember that we saw that in town. That was important, but we also saw it when we went into the hyper warp. All right, so we have made it to 545. We are orbiting Mercury. We'll go ahead and let's try this again. Land. Just barely made that. All right, and we can view, and this is Mer Mercury. If memory serves me right, there is uh, nothing here. Um, let me actually look. Um, there is a dungeon here, so that is available to you. Um, so let's just, uh, move on from here. There, there's nothing else for us. So we will launch. 
Do we veer off course again? You're orbiting Mercury. All right, so then we can hyperspace. We'll go to three, three, four. All right, it, it just takes a while. I'm not sure why, but that will take us to Venus. Are they gonna tell us that? There we go, you're orbiting Venus. Okay, barely made that again. I think we're, we're pretty much all right. We can view. This is Earth, pretty much. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm confused. But yes, uh, Venus here is, is mostly covered in swampland. Uh, there are... No, I, I think I'm in the wrong spot. This is Earth. Venus is not supposed to look like this. So now I am confused. <laughs> I am very confused by this. This is not what I was told Venus was supposed to look like. Venus kind of looks, it's just a, a large area with a swamp and like there, there's nothing there. Um, what happened? <laughs> How did I make it to, looks like 2112 Earth? Um, all right, we're, we're going to launch. Um but I, I've basically explained where Venus was, but it didn't take me to, to Venus. Uh, we will then move on. We're in deep space again. It take us to the same spot every time, 711. All right, uh, let's go to hyperspace. And this time we'll go to 623. Uh, these are all in the manual, by the way. Um, It'll let you know where you want to go. Zeno, Yako, Zabo, they seem to be some sort of alien uh, language for coordinates. Um, either way, though, can we now make it to... Maybe I hit the button too fast. Uh, we're orbiting Mars. So now we can... No, this is not Mars! This is not Mars! Come on now! Um... I honestly don't know what's going on. I, I don't understand. Um, I wanted to show off kind of everything else, but um, they're not letting me do that. They just keep on taking me back to Earth. So I might as well just go back to Earth. That's what we're supposed to do. Um, I, I legitimately don't know what's going on again. This just keeps happening in this game, that I, I, I keep on doing things and then it doesn't work out for the best. Um, for me to go to both Venus and Mars and for it to bug out like this, I think it's best if I just went back to Earth. I wanted to show everything off. Um, I might try off screen to try to figure out what is happening, um, but where I want to go is uh earth for now 666 and let's officially go where we're supposed to go <laughs> right because it's the game's telling me that i'm doing things right you're orbiting venus all right let's land here and they're like no <laughs> all right you're orbiting earth let's land can we there we go same spot as I've been this whole time, it seems. So we landed in North America. That, I think, is good enough. Uh, as you can see, I've been consuming trilithiums this whole time. Uh, I'm down to 10. I started with 20. Uh, you need the trilithiums in order to engage in hyperspace and all that kind of stuff. But I think for now, we're going to have to call this a session, and I'm going to have to come back and try to figure out if the game's going to allow me to explore these other uh, planets, because that's something that I wanted to do. Uh, for whatever reason, they're just not allowing me to do that right now. Uh, so that is going to do it for this part of Ultima 2. Uh, I've been Baller Scuba. I hope that I can get a, a better play session together at some point in this game, but there's been problems every time. Uh, so... That's going to do it for this part of Ultima 2. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. And I hope to see you next time when we may explore space again. Maybe. 
Thanks for watching.